I'm going to be replacing these motor mounts here on this 8P71. It's in a GM bus. But look at how this hard rubber has turned to this squishy jelly like. So when you're removing these on this bell housing or the motor mounts, take this nut, nut off, take the washer, and then there's this plate of steel here. Spacer, take that off, and then you can double nut it and pull the stud out. And then the ones on the bottom have tapered cones that go up in the hole. So once you remove the studs, it'll just slide right out. You can lift it just a little bit. You may have to relieve the tension on these sometimes, but usually there's enough room to get it right out of there. So there, I got it double nutted. And the thing's coming out. One down, three to go. Jack it up a little bit more. More or you got it? So I don't see the little dimple he's talking about in it there. So there's no room on that back mount to get the stud out. So I just made a notch on the old one here and took the bottom stud out. And then once this was notched, it could just slide right out. And then when I put the new one in, we'll make a notch in it, slide it into place, and then it'll get bolted down, and then the stud will go back in that hole there. So it can't go anywhere. But you can see how nasty this rubber is. It's all squishy like a jello. Uh, the motor, uh, the transmission was rubbing on the body because it's been compressed so much. Definitely need to be replaced. So when you get ready to put the mounts in, there's a taper, and when you put that in, that'll, that'll self-align that hole in the bottom of the mount. So when you got these in already, that'll go right in with the taper and self-align. Just got to get it close enough to start it.